Oh, this is uh, this is sort of fun. Uh, guess who has egg on his face today? It's Ron Paul. Remember Ron Paul putting out those newsletters that were racist and it wasn't, it wasn't him, it was his buddies. I wonder if he's going to disavow this one too. Uh, this is uh, Ron Paul. Uh, his newsletter, he had a op-ed, I guess, part of his uh, newsletter business. Um, and he was basically telling folks the, it's the coronavirus hoax. Yeah, scroll down on this. Let's read a little bit. The coronavirus hoax. This is March 16th. So this is a week ago. Governments love crises because when the people are fearful, they are more willing to give up freedoms for promises that the government will take care of them. Well, I think there's some truth to that. After 9-11, for example, Americans accepted the near total destruction of their civil liberties in the Patriots Act, hollow promises of security. It's true. It's ironic to see the same Democrats who tried to impeach President Trump last month for abuse of power, demanding that the administration grab more power and authority in the name of fighting a virus that thus far has killed less than 100 Americans. Declaring a pandemic emergency on Friday, President Trump now claims the power to quarantine individuals suspected of being infected by the virus and has political rights stop and seize any plane, train, or automobile to stymie the spread of the contagious disease. He can even call it the military to cordon off a U.S. city or state. This may have made sense if he had written this like in December. Too early to give those powers to the president. Um, I don't think the ink was dry on this thing. I mean, I understand DC wrote it online, so there's actually no ink. But metaphorically speaking, uh, by the time that his son was announced that he had the coronavirus. I'm sure his son is not taking it seriously now, right? I would imagine Rand Paul, Senator Rand Paul is just like kicking it back. I don't, I don't need to socially distance myself from my family. Hugs for everybody. Hey, how about go see your dad? I'm sure Ron is very, very uh, lonely these days. Why don't you go see your dad? We don't have to worry about this. He did go to the gym uh, after he was tested. He went right. to the Senate gym after he got his test, before receiving the results. Unbelievable. These people are unbelievable. He's also a doctor, in case anyone forgot. A libertarian what? overrules doctor, I think. Right. <laughs> didn't he do, didn't he have like his, his own, didn't he hire his own firm to uh, license him and credential him? That's all it takes, right? Unbelievable. These people are insane. It's insane. L look at this. They're apparently, again, you know, we've been talking about how the disinformation. There was a, an IT guy or a tech guy, I should say, who wrote a piece about viralness of this virus. Now, I mean, if you read any epidemiologists on this piece that's on Medium, apparently got like two or three million views and they pulled it down because they realized like, hey, all the experts are saying this is complete, total, fat, like bunk. But the guy understands how social memes spread and how maybe videos become viral. And so he applied this to actual viruses and was applying more or less like marketing terms, apparently, to what are actual medical uh, epidemiology concepts. And uh, all the epidemiologists, you know, basically debunked the thing. But look and see who promoted this bunk basically saying like hey this is nothing to be worried about it's a little bit overblown here it is uh laura ingram tweeting again it's that important please read evidence over hysteria covid19 6469 medium here's brit hume just two days ago really worth the time you have it spend the uh reading this numbers facts data most complete I've read to date. 
my favorite of the threads completely debunking this. Uh, Britt Hume, this is definitely worth reading. Smart analysis. Aaron Ginn, who's that dude? Oh, that's the actual uh, thing. You get all these Fox News people pushing this uh, stuff. It's it's really stunning. Instead of time for some game theory, it's time for some epidemiology. <laughs> exactly. And in this instance, the problem is is less like, uh, oh, you can have people selling bumper stickers, you know, Trump is Putin's favorite uh, politician. Instead, it's going to be people like dying. 